Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. J.J. Abrams Jeffrey Jacob Abrams is an American film director, producer, screenwriter, actor, and composer. He is known for work in the genres of action, drama, and science fiction. Abrams wrote or produced such films as Regarding Henry, Forever Young, Armageddon, Cloverfield, Star Trek, Star Wars, The Force Awakens, and the upcoming Star Wars, Episode 9. Abrams has created numerous television series, including Felicity, Alias, Lost, and Fringe. He won two Emmy Awards for Lost, Outstanding Directing for a Drama Series and Outstanding Drama Series. His directorial film work includes Mission, Impossible 3, Star Trek and its sequel Star Trek Into Darkness, and Super 8. He also directed, and co-wrote Star Wars, The Force Awakens, the first film in the Star Wars sequel trilogy and his highest grossing film, as well as the third highest grossing film of all time. He will return to Star Wars by co-writing and directing Episode 9. Abrams' frequent collaborators include producer Brian Burke, actors Greg Grunberg and Simon Pegg, writers Alex Kurtzman and Roberto Orci, composer Michael Giacchino, cinematographers Daniel Mindel and Larry Fong, and editors Mary Ann Brandon and Mary Jo Markey. Early Life Abrams was born in New York City and raised in Los Angeles, the son of television producer Gerald W. Abrams, and executive producer Carol Ann Abrams. His sister is screenwriter Tracy Rosen. He attended Palisades High School. After graduating high school, Abrams planned on going to dental school rather than an arts college, but eventually enrolled at Sarah Lawrence College. Following his father's advice, it's more important that you go off and learn what to make movies about than how to make movies. Early Career Abrams' first job in the movie business started at 15 when he wrote the music for Don Dola's 1982 film Night Beast. During his senior year, at college, he teamed with Jill Mazursky to write a feature film treatment. Purchased by Touchstone Pictures, the treatment was the basis for taking care of business. Abrams' first produced film, which starred Charles Grodin and James Belushi. He followed with Regarding Henry, starring Harrison Ford, and Forever Young, starring Mel Gibson. He also co-wrote with Mazursky the script for the comedy Gone Fishing starring Joe Pesci and Danny Glover. In 1994, he was part of the Propellerheads with Rob Letterman, Lorenz Oman, and Andy Weishler, a group of Sarah Lawrence alums experimenting with computer animation technology who were contracted by Jeffrey Katzenberg to develop animation for the film Shrek. Abrams worked on the screenplay for the 1998 film Armageddon with producer Jerry Bruckheimer and director Michael Bay. That same year, he made his first foray into television with Felicity, which ran for four seasons on the WB network, serving as the series co-creator and executive producer. He also composed its opening theme music. 2000s Under his production company, Bad Robot, which he founded with Brian Burke in 2001, Abrams created and executive produced ABC's Alias and is co-creator and was executive producer of Lost. As with Felicity, Abrams also composed the opening theme music for Alias and Lost. Abrams directed and wrote the two-part pilot for Lost and remained active producer for the first half of the season. Also in 2001, Abrams co-wrote and produced the horror thriller Joyride. In 2006, he served as executive producer of What About Brian and Six Degrees, also on ABC. He also co-wrote the teleplay for Lost's third season premiere, A Tale of Two Cities, and the same year, he made his feature directorial debut with Mission Impossible 3, starring Tom Cruise. Abrams spoke at the TED conference in 2007. In 2008, Abrams produced the monster movie Cloverfield. In 2009, he directed the science fiction film Star Trek, which he produced with Lost Go creator Damon Lindelof. While it was speculated that they would be writing and producing an adaptation of Stephen King's The Dark Tower series of novels, they publicly stated in November 2009 that they were no longer looking to take on that project. In 2008, Abrams co-created, executive produced, and co-wrote the Fox science fiction series Fringe, for which he also composed the theme music. 
He was featured in the 2009 MTV Movie Awards 1980s style digital short, Cool Guys Don't Look, at Explosions, with Andy Samberg and Will Ferrell, in which he plays a keyboard solo. NBC picked up Abrams' Undercovers as its first new drama series for the 2010-11 season. However, it was subsequently cancelled by the network in November 2010. In 2008, it was reported that Abrams purchased the rights to a New York Times article, Mystery on Fifth Avenue, about the renovation of an $8.5 million co-op, a division of property originally owned by E.F. Hutton and Company and Marjorie Merriweather Post, for six figures and was developing a film titled Mystery on Fifth Avenue, with Paramount Pictures and Bad Robot Productions and comedy writers Maya Forbes and Wally Walidarski to write the adaptation. According to the article, a wealthy couple Stephen B. Klinsky and Maureen Sherry purchased the apartment in 2003 and lived there with their four children. Soon after purchasing the apartment, they hired young architectural designer Eric Clough, who devised an elaborately clever scavenger hunt built into the apartment that involved dozens of historical figures, a fictional book and a soundtrack, woven throughout the apartment in puzzles, riddles, secret panels, compartments, and hidden codes. Without the couple's knowledge, the family didn't discover the embedded mystery until months after moving into the apartment. After Abrams purchased the article, Clough left him an encrypted message in the wall tiles of a Christian Louboutin shoe store he designed in West Hollywood. 2010s. He wrote and directed the Paramount science fiction thriller Super 8, starring Joel Courtney and Al Fanning, while co-producing with Steven Spielberg and Brian Burke. It was released on June 10, 2011. Abrams directed the sequel to Star Trek, Star Trek Into Darkness, released in May 2013. Abrams announced at the 2013 DICE Summit that Bad Robot Productions had made a deal with Valve Corporation to produce a film based on either the video game title Portal or Half-Life. On September 9, 2013, it was announced that Abrams would release a novel, S written by Doug Dorst. The book was released on October 29, 2013. On January 25, 2013, the Walt Disney Studios and Lucasfilm officially announced Abrams as director and producer of Star Wars, The Force Awakens, the seventh entry in the Star Wars film saga. Disney slash Lucasfilm also announced that Brian Burke and Bad Robot Productions would produce the feature. Following the news that he would direct The Force Awakens, speculation arose as to Abrams' future with Paramount Pictures, with whom he had released all of his previously directed feature work and which had a first-look deal with his Bad Robot Productions. Paramount Vice Chairman Rob Moore stated that Abrams will continue to have a hand in the highly successful Star Trek and Mission Impossible franchises going forward. Abrams directed, produced, and co-wrote the screenplay for Star Wars The Force Awakens, working alongside Lawrence Kasdan. Following the departure of co-writer Michael Arndt, Star Wars The Force Awakens opened in theaters on December 18, 2015. It grossed over $2 billion at the box office, making him the second director to make a $2 billion movie since James Cameron's Avatar. He served as a producer on the 2016 sci-fi sequel Star Trek Beyond. In October 2016, Abrams revealed that he was producing a film titled God Particle, that would serve as a sequel to 10 Cloverfield Lane. The film was later retitled The Cloverfield Paradox and released on Netflix in February 2018. Upcoming Projects In 2009, it was reported that Abrams and Bad Robot Productions would produce a film based on the Micronauts toy line. As of December 2013, the film hasn't been made, but it is stated that the film is still in production. In January 2014, during the promotion of the TV series Believe, it was reported that Abrams was interested in making th film adaptations of Alias, Lost, and Felicity. In November 2015, it was reported that a sixth mission, Impossible film was in the works and that Abrams was expected to return to produce the film, along Tom Cruise, Don Granger, David Ellison, and Dana Goldberg. In July 2016, Abrams reported that a fourth Star Trek installment was in the works, and that he is confident that Chris Pine, Zachary Quinto and Chris Hemsworth will return for the sequel. 
In March 2017, it was reported that Abrams was working on a new film titled Overlord, a horror film set in World War II set to be directed by Julius Avery. It was reported by Slash Film in January 2018, that the film will serve as the fourth installment in the Cloverfield film series. In September 2017, it was announced by Lucasfilm president, Kathleen Kennedy, that Abrams would be returning to Star Wars to direct and co-write the upcoming Episode 9 with co-writer Chris Terrio. In February 2018, HBO ordered Abrams' sci-fi drama Demi Monde to series. Unrealized Projects In 1989, Abrams met Steven Spielberg at a film festival, where Spielberg spoke about a possible Who Framed Roger Rabbit sequel with Abrams as a possible writer and with Robert Zemeckis as producer. Nothing came up from this project, although Abrams has some storyboards for a Roger Rabbit short. In July 2002, Abrams wrote a script for a possible fifth Superman film entitled Superman, Flyby. Brett Ratner and McKee entered into talks to direct, although Abrams tried to get the chance to direct his own script. However, the project was finally cancelled in 2004 and instead Superman Returns was released in 2006. In November 2009, it was reported that Abrams and Bad Robot Productions were producing, along with Cartoon Network Movies, Warner Brothers Frederator Films, and Paramount Pictures, a film adaptation of Samurai Jack. However, in June 2012, Series creator Jendi Tartakovsky stated that the production of the film was scrapped after Abrams' departure from the project to direct Star Trek. For this and other reasons, Tartakovsky decided to make a new season instead of a feature film. Personal Life Abrams is married to public relations executive Katie McGrath and has three children. He resides in Pacific Palisades, Los Angeles, California. He is Jewish and his wife is Roman Catholic and he sometimes takes his children to religious services on Jewish holidays. Abrams serves on the Creative Council of Represent.us, a non-partisan anti-corruption organization. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?